All right, so I've got some word problems I'm going to work. Uh, I'm going to do one problem per video. These are the three I have right now. I, might, I may add some more later on, but for right now, these three. Uh, this will be the first video, second video, and this one will be the third video. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at this first example. It says a rectangular swimming pool is three times as long as it is wide. If the perimeter of the pool is 320 feet, what are its dimensions? Alright, so obviously the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and draw a rectangular pool. Okay. Alright, so let's see what we have. They give us the perimeter of the pool, so that's the distance all the way around the pool. Okay. And they tell us about the length and width. All right, so it says a rectangular swimming pool is three times as long as it is wide. Three times as long as it is wide. So which dimension are they telling us about, giving us the most information about, the length or the width? Well, they're telling us about the length. They're telling them about it's three times as long as it is wide. So the, 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 the dimension that they give us the least information about, that's what we're going to let x equal. And look, it doesn't matter if you call this the length and this the width or this the length and this the width. It makes no difference. Okay. So the one that they give us the least information about is the width. So that's what I'm going to let my variable be. So I'm going to let x is going to be my width. Okay. And then my length. Well, what does it tell me the length is? Well, the length is three times as long as it is wide. So that means the length would be three times the width. So the length is 3x. All right. Now, hopefully you remember the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle. Remember, the perimeter is twice the length plus twice the width. In other words, if that's the width, that's the length, there's the length, and there's the width. An easy way to get it, you just add up all the sides. So we've got what? L plus W plus L plus W. L plus L is 2L. W plus W is 2W. Okay, so that's where that comes from. So we know that the formula for the perimeter is twice the length plus twice the width. All right. Now, all we do is we just plug everything into here. Okay. So we've got the perimeter, P, which is 320. So that's 320 equals twice the length. So that's two times the length. Well, what's the length? It's 3x plus 2 times the width. Well, what's the width? It's x, so 2 times x. And so this gives me 320 equals 6x plus 2x. And then I just solve. So I get 320 equals 6x plus 2x is 8x. And then we'll do what? Divide both sides by 8. And so that's going to give me x is equal to 320 divided by 8, which that is 40, and we're in feet, so that's 40 feet. So that's x. x is the width. This is the width of the pool. And then the length, well, the length is what? 3 times x. So 3 times x is 3 times x which is 40 and so that's 120 feet and that 
is whoop, is the length and so here's your answer it's 40 by 120 okay so I hope the video helped uh, check out the other videos give me a like share and subscribe and thanks for watching